One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make when it comes to their health, that comes to their fitness, when it comes to weight loss, fat loss, muscle gain, or any of these things, is going too fast. And I suppose it will be the same with business. If you're trying to sprint, you're going to miss the basics out. And those basic things, the foundations, set you up for solidarity. They set you up for success in the long run. I see people going on these New Year diets, which is cool, props to you. I really do hope you succeed. But trying to sprint, unless you're doing intervals, is not going to get you very far. There's a reason that Usain Bolt does 100 and 200, maybe gets around to 400, but Mo Farah is better over half marathons, over 10Ks, over a marathon. And that is going at a pace that is going to allow you to be successful over time. If you have your calories here and you simply cut them down here, it might be cool for a few days, but what is going to happen is you're going to end up going into, technically, as much as I hate those words, starvation mode. Not that your body shuts down and all this sorts of stuff, but it will start to adapt a little bit. Not through saying it burns less calories, but it makes your body adapt. It stops fidgeting a little bit. It stops allowing you to have the energy to move a little bit more. Before you know it, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis is basically the calories you burn when you're not necessarily exercising go down without you realizing it. And next thing, no, your cravings go up. Your hydration goes down, your cravings go up. So you go for four or five days and you think, great. I've been in a 1,000 calorie, 1,500, 2,000 calorie deficit at extremes. I've dropped all this weight. And then, then suddenly you get to that cliff edge and you actually jump. You go flying over the edge. You go for the junk cupboard. You get loads of sweet stuff out, loads of junk. You get takeaways. You get loads of food that you have just been craving because you've gone such a low uh, calorie in input such a large deficit and that is not the key to sustainability the key to sustainability is to go quickly slow be patient have good days over time that allow you to have a little bit of that junk stuff if you can have a little bit of that junk stuff without going nuts so if you can have a spoon for the peanut butter that's cool if you have to have the whole jar, maybe we won't have too much peanut butter right now. If you can have a lump of cheese, that's cool. But if you have to have the whole massive block, maybe we shouldn't have cheese for the moment. If you can have one or two bits of chocolate, that's cool. But maybe if you can't, let's not have chocolate at the moment. Let's work that in a little bit at a time. But if you cut every single thing out, and if you go on such a big deficit, drop your carbohydrates, go to the extremes, you are setting yourself up for failure. And it sounds harsh, but prove me wrong. Seriously, prove me wrong. I would love to be wrong. There will be outliers. There will be that one in 100 person, two in 1,000 or something like that, that will go on a low calorie deficit diet, get results and say, great, it works. But for the majority of people that are successful entrepreneurs, business guys, got high levels of stress elsewhere, why? Why put this added stress on your body when you could be successful over time physically and mentally and earn more money in your business in the long run? Now, this is where the stubbornness comes in because people try and do it without the help and that is cool. That is cool. But why waste time on something you could fail in when you could hire someone like myself and get the results guaranteed? from someone who has actually made the mistakes quite a lot of times themselves and learned the ways that work. For you, as an entrepreneur, as one of the busiest people around, why not drop me a message and we can chat. Make sure you're not starving yourself. Make sure the only extremes you're getting are extremely amazing results. More energy, more focus, more money, more confidence, I'm feeling amazing. I look forward to speaking to you.